I love seafood, so when I'm thirsty for a good seafood wine, my best bet is always to look for a region of the world that is close to the ocean. Today, I have a unique white wine that's light, crisp, fresh, and smooth. It's extremely affordable, and it seems almost divinely designed for seafood, especially oysters. This is French Muscadet. If that name sounds familiar, it's probably because you're thinking of Muscat or Muscata, two very well-known wines that are not related to this one at all. Muscadet is a specialty of Western France, and it's actually the name of a region close to the city of Nantes, about 40 miles east of the Atlantic coast. Confusingly, the grape that they use to make these wines is not called Muscadet. Instead, it's a single variety called Melon de Bourgogne, which originally comes from, you guessed it, Burgundy. Back in the medieval times, this region grew both red and white wine grapes, but in the year 1709, there was a winter freeze that was so bad that it killed almost all the grapes in the region. So it was actually King Louis XIV who declared that they should replant this grape, Melon de Bourgogne, and it was kind of a PR move on his part. At the time, their main trade partner were the Dutch, and the Dutch preferred this grape to distill into brandy. Muscadet is considered to be part of France's Loire Valley, but because of its proximity to the Atlantic, it's a lot cooler here. I recently did a video for this series about a white wine that comes from the northern part of Spain. And we have a similar situation here. A cooler, wetter climate, so a shorter growing season that creates these dry, crisp, and high acid wines that can be pretty tart. And that describes Muscadet pretty well. It's a very light, almost neutral cloth with subtle hints of pear, apple, zesty lime, and sometimes a hint of sea salt. It's a pretty brisk, eye-opening wine that has all the perfect qualities for seafood. And because this wine can be so light and quite subtle, winemakers in Muscadet have employed an additional technique called surly aging, which gives the wine extra complexity. This technique involves extended aging time in the barrel or tank, resting together with the yeast at the bottom. Surly aging gives the wine a creamy texture. It also adds this attractive toasted bread element. And Muscadet is rarely oak-aged, but some new producers are using it to add a little bit of spice. Now, these wines are mostly designed to enjoy young, so you'll rarely see anything over a few years old. Open them now, drink them well chilled and fresh. And as mentioned, this region is less than 50 miles away from the Atlantic Ocean and so well known for its shellfish, especially oysters. In the wine world, oysters and Muscadet are famously classic. But if for some strange reason you don't like oysters, light appetizers with things like greens, veggies, and soft cheeses work too. So Muscadet is a fun, easygoing drink that doesn't demand much, including at checkout. Both of these bottles here cost me about $10 each. So thanks for drinking Muscadet with me today. Now go out and get you some. And if you like what I'm doing here, be sure to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you for the next new and interesting wine. Cheers.